One of my favorite things about Jesus is although he was the answer and he had all the answers, to get to the heart of anybody or any situation, he asked the right questions. So let me ask you a question today. What motivates you? So let's get real for a moment. When we ask that question, what motivates you? What is your answer? Is it that trophy that you wanna hold up to show the world that you accomplished what you came to accomplish? Or maybe that ring to show the world that you were so good at the end of this season? Or maybe it's something a little bit deeper. It's maybe that approval of somebody or a certain group of people. Or maybe it's for the applause, the applause of the crowd that motivates you. We're gonna take a look at a story in scripture in Acts chapter three and four. There was a man outside of the temple who was lame. He couldn't walk and he was begging for money. And he asked Peter and John, can I have some money? And they replied to him, we don't have any money, but we'll give you what we do have. In the name of Jesus, get up and walk. And that's exactly what happened. A miracle happened. He got up and he walked and he was completely healed. And as people gathered around and they saw what just happened, crowds and crowds of people became to come around to see this man who was just healed. But what is amazing about this story is that as the crowds gathered, Peter took this opportunity to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with them. And in Acts chapter four, verse four, it says, there was about 5,000 people who came to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior that day. But you wanna know one of my favorite parts of this story is they didn't go to the temple for the crowds that day. They, they weren't motivated by the crowds. They actually went to the temple, as it says in Acts chapter three, verse one, they went to the temple to take part in the prayer service. They were simply going there to pray. They were not led by the crowd, they were led by Christ. And because they were led by Christ, God did something amazing through them and the crowd came. I don't know what motivates you. I've been in the sports world a long time, first as a coach's daughter, then as a coach's spouse, as a former athlete, and for the past 20 years on this amazing FCA staff. And one of the things that I have learned is when we try to get love from what we do, we lose the love for what we do because we're motivated by the wrong things. But I have found when we are motivated by Christ, we get the love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, all the fruits of the Spirit that we try to get from the game we get from Christ. And with that, I don't know about you, but that's motivating to me.